section two. I'm back to the middle and for most of you that design right there would be more than enough quilting to hold the block down and still have a nice design. I'm doing a little bit more on this quilt though so I'm gonna do a couple more arcs and try to make more of a flower or star design out of it. So back to flex one since it's right here. See how I'm I'm in the center mark of the ruler arcing out to the outside edge. And that would work, but it's going to give me a real shallow little petal. So let's see what else we can do. Um, let's see, I've got my four-way ruler out and if I kind of eyeball from the center to the outside there, so that's where I'm looking, that would give me a pretty fat little petal or a deeper continuous curve. And it'll overlap all four of those petals just a little bit. So I kind of like that idea. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this line and then I'll stitch a couple more lines and then I will pause you while I finish it up. So here we go. Yeah. Flip the ruler over and then come back to the center. Once again, I'm working center out. There may be a better way of doing it and if you play around enough, you probably find a way. This is just the way I prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this one. That one's done. Now we're going to stitch this one. So this is where you get paused and I'll go ahead and finish out the design and I will end in the middle and then I will get back with you in a minute. 